here, but um, Hugh is a buck that we're really excited about this year that we're going to chase on this farm and pretty much every property around this that we have permission on. Run, uh, we've been watching them for uh, four years now, I guess. So um, I think Hugh will get in here quite a bit um, within the next couple weeks because this this is pretty much his home range. Specifically tonight, we're going to be trying to go after Hugh. He's been really active on our cameras, but <clears throat> more into the evening. Jim and Matt and I are in a tree again chasing Hugh. I came back, pushed in on him deeper. But Hugh's, gotcha. uh, he's been all over cameras at my house now. So, Whoa, he's moving. yeah, dude, he's like moving all over the place, but I guess thankfully it's all over like the places where we have, you know? That's awesome, dude. But, you guys are getting on him. I hope so. I know that my neighbor to the north, good guy. Um, he did come out of that chunk of timber like we thought he would, where we figured he'd been bedding up. And he just kind of hung out out in that cut field for quite a while, kind of surveying the, the field. and uh, a nice big pointer that showed up and then another nice up and comer is actually in the field back behind that. Something spooked the, the group of deer back to was feeding and they ran back into the timber. He made his appearance and obviously did what he did. I think uh, I was just about to draw back on him and he must have caught a little whiff of something. We just had a heck of an encounter. Oh. Starting to have a bunch of does work out into this beans like we were hoping. And uh, back in the corner here, Hugh came out. Matt and I just had yet another encounter with our uh, with our main target buck, Hugh. Yet again, we had him at about 60 yards, but no shot. Sunday, uh, November 24th, last day of Illinois' first firearm season, and uh, we're heading out to the blind for the afternoon sit. Um, we're heading up to a, a bail blind we set up exactly for this wind. It's a southwest wind. It's going to push it into a big cut bean field behind us. Absolutely ideal wind here, but what we're dealing with here today is uh, we know that on Friday morning, opening day of Illinois gun season, Hugh was harvested um, just north of here, across that cut bean field. I'm talking about talking with some neighbors and stuff. Everybody saw him come out of that big chunk of timber that we knew he'd been bedded in. Been going back to every night. And this time of year, you know, he did what uh, he did what we all hoped for. He slipped up by chasing some does across that field, went into the neighboring timber up there to the north, and. Uh, cross paths with a hunter, which we all know during gun season, I mean, there's just a ton more people that hit the woods. Pretty hard for those deer around here anyway to really go many places um, during these gun seasons without there being a threat for them there. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it can obviously be a tough pill to swallow when your target buck you've been after for a few years ends up getting harvested by somebody else. 
but at the same token, I mean, that's part of hunting, you know, and the only thing you can really do is be excited for the person that got to uh, lay, his hand, lay hands on him for the first time and, and get to experience the harvest there. So um, we got a couple deer around here that we're gonna be chasing, um, but obviously, I mean, it's gonna be no secret to anybody. Definitely let some wind out of the sails. So what our uh, um, strategy is now is to pretty much regroup and uh, try to get our minds back in the game and still be hungry to get after get out there and kind of enjoy the chase so we're just trying to re-strategize and figure out you know kind of a different approach because anybody that's been watching this knows we've been solely focused um, on the pursuit of Hugh so now that he's gone you know everybody can experience experiences that from time to time um, when they try to target one specific animal but uh, we're gonna kind of keep uh, keep pushing and and ultimately have fun and that's really what this is about even when you get you know those those phone calls those text messages where you're just like oh man totally changes things for you but you just got to remember to have fun that's why we're out here It's about 4:10, and uh, deer movement's a little less than we thought it would be right now. Um, we figured by now we at least have like a dozen deer, um, primarily does and fawns, and maybe a small buck or two feeding out into the beans. Uh, just now, a minute ago, we got a doe coming out out of the uh, the bedding and working out. So, kind of frustrating. Um, my trail cam pictures have really dropped off recently. The last probably three to four days, everything has either gone off camera or everything's nocturnal. Um, so we're not sure if it's just the warmer weather or if it's the peeing gun season and the, the woods is being um, highly pressured right now with everybody in there. So it's frustrating, um, but this is going to be our last sit for the, uh, for, the gun, for, for the first gun season and uh, I guess for the first half of our deer season. So we're going to have to kind of recalculate what we're going to do, how we're going to get after uh, a couple other bucks that we got here on, on these farms and try to make a move, but this will probably be our last update of the evening unless we got um, a good encounter, but hate to say it, but the way it's going right now, we're not too confident, but again, you gotta be out here, you gotta keep hunting. So we're gonna keep pushing until till daylight and figure out a plan for the next half of the season.